In today's video, I am going to be breaking down why the Golden State Warriors this year look extremely scary, but also very amazing going into the future. They have a very young core with a very strong superstar set, so let's get down, let's check out the Golden State Warriors this year. Okay, let's check out their newest addition, and that is Jonathan Kaminga. So here we have Jonathan Kaminga. He looks very strong coming into this season here. He's attacking full out. He does a quick snatch back hesitation, and then he's able to attack that rim and sky up for a massive dunk. Now, Kamingo's shooting isn't exactly on par with somebody like a Klay Thompson or as a Steph Curry, but I think that he could be a fantastic player who could then break down a defense to be able to kick out for threes, but also his ability to attack that rim to really collapse the defense and make them honest so that now they are more worried about players attacking. I also think that he could be a very good player attacking or cutting back door because of his ability to dunk as we can see right here. I also really want to point out the time that's left on the clock for him to pull off a move like this is extremely high level where you can attack, do a quick snatch back, gets that defender on his heels, does a quick hesitation, has that zero step so that it really does look like he's going to attack that left side. He even has his defender already forcing him towards that side and then he does a quick crossover and then attacks especially with that player reaching that really does limit what that defender is able to do. Now I understand that this is the summer league defense and footage but at the same time this is very high level. I'm really looking forward to seeing Kaminga play. Now again we have Kaminga here attacking the net. He does a quick Euro step around his defender and he's able to finish again at that rim. This is a type of player who can really open up the court for players like Curry as well as Klay Thompson, especially if they camp out along the corners with, of course, Kaminga attacking down the middle. If that collapses help defenders, he could easily kick that ball out, of course, against stronger NBA defenders, so that now his top three-point shooters on his team, even Moses Moody, could be an option out there for three-point shots. I really do believe that with his ball handling, his ability to get to that rim, that in and out cross jab, getting to that rim, finishing with his inside hand, he could really make waves in the NBA. Let's also not forget that he's also a great defender, so with him teamed up with Green as well as other players like Igudala, this could be a very interesting defensive team as well. Moses Moody is also very good at cutting backdoor. Here we see a backdoor cut. We all know that Steph Curry likes to attack that rim. We have to remember that this team is going to be built around Curry still. So with Curry attacking that rim, very similar to what we see here, if we have a Moses Moody who's playing off ball, who's cutting down the middle, we can definitely believe that he's going to be able to finish those dunks as well in the NBA. And of course, when the, when the Golden State Warriors kick that ball out and swing, he's going to be able to knock down threes too. And like I was saying, he's a very competent defender as well. And again... Golden State Warriors are not just going to be an offensive team. They're going to be defensive too with these players they picked up. Now with his passing ability, now I could really see this being a player like a Clay Thompson or even a James Wiseman. A player could set a screen out, that player could drive, and if Moses Moody has that ball, he could really beam that ball into the key for easy layups or dunks. Now we have to remember that the Golden State Warriors are going to be a three-point happy team, which means that there's going to be a lot of teams closing out strong on them. And with Moses Moody's ability to shoot, but also his ability to use pivots and shot fakes, he could really keep a defense on a still and get to the rim for some easy points. Now with James Wiseman, he's a second year player, but he's going to be able to do a lot of the defensive a lot of defensive work, but also the ability for him to run the full court as we see here, being able to finish with a massive dunk. He is going to be really stretching that defense, especially really making defenses honest in the key. Especially if he can continue to use moves like this where he'll attack the key, spin off that defender when he tries to get cut off, and then sky up for a dunk. Of course, Wiseman is going to be one heck of a player, very similar to a Giannis when he was younger. 
and he's able to use these screens as well. Now, really picture this. Picture Clay Thompson in this corner after the Curry screen and roll with Wiseman. Picture Thompson in this corner and maybe a Moses Moody or another three-point shooter in the other corner. Maybe a Kyle Guy if he actually makes the team. Those kick-out passes could be deadly if the help side defenders try to take a charge off of Wiseman. If they don't, he's still going to finish anyways. This is a very deadly looking team. Let's also remember that James Wiseman can also run the fast break too, and here we see him running the fast break, getting that give and go for that alley-oop dunk. Now we're going to move over to, of course, Andrew Wiggins. And, of course, there is a lot of mixed feelings with Andrew Wiggins on the Golden State Warriors. There's a few people who say that he is a terrible, terrible player for them because they work too fast as an offensive team. However, what we can see here is he can actually settle down the offense because the offense is going to be so fast and high-powered that every once in a while you're going to need to relax on offense. And with his ability to get shots up, even against some of the tallest defenders, he can really create a lot of mismatches and with this move where he can spin off step back that is an absolute beautiful move and he could really thrive in this Golden State offense. Again using Wiseman as a screen there's going to be a lot of players that do not hedge on him and because of that What's going to happen is Andrew Wiggins could kick out to Wiseman for a three. We all know he can shoot them, but also Andrew Wiggins is able to finish around big men because of Andrew Wiggins' ability to change speed and, of course, direction against those big men, and they just can't keep up. And because the Golden State Warriors are such a high-powered offense, there's only so many defenders on other teams, and he can sometimes get stuck with a weaker defender and absolutely exploit them getting to the rim. Next is, of course, Steph Curry, the basketball god. His ability to float on that court is absolutely insane. There are going to be a lot of teams who stick their best defenders on Curry. And with players like Wiseman, players like Wiggins, Kuminga, there's going to be a lot of players on their team who are open. However, we have to remember that even though the other teams will stick double and triple teams on Curry, he's still going to be able to get these shots off. Here we see a quick, nice cross slight cross jab going towards the middle and then he does a quick step back for a three now of course he draws multiple defenders but if he had somebody like a clay thompson on this side or a moses moody and a clay thompson for extra passes around and then of course maybe a james wiseman down low this could look extremely deadly this is going to be a high passing team as well so between all of these amazing offensive talents, they still have defensive talents like Igudala and Green, but also new defensive talents like Moses Moody, who can shoot threes, and Kaminga, who has just absolute amazing athleticism and defensive and offensive abilities. This looks like a very dangerous team this year. They may have some growing pains because they have a lot of young players, but into the future... I can see that this team could be a championship team within maybe two, three, or even four years. So believe me, Steph Curry still has more championships to get. I hope that this video has helped you become a better basketball player, coach, and fan. If it has, hit that like button and subscribe, and I'll see you guys again next time.